he's going to probably be putting the chains on the tractor. Little, Little fingers. It's very important to Ben that he's the good dog. The whole secret with chains are they get them on real tight, that they don't move around, they don't hit the fenders. Good morning. I'm Lynn, and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. As you can see, starting to look a little bit like Christmas out here. We'll head on over to the barn. I heard the skid steer in there, so I assume he's feeding some hay. I was right. Everybody's been fed. You enjoying it, you guys? Hi. How you doing? These guys all have their hay too. Oh, and normally we'd be looking for someone not at the feeder. But again, she must have already eaten because she's chewing her cud and looks comfortable. So you wanna, if they're chewing their cuds, they're feeling okay. Hi. And the boys out here are all eating as well. All's good in the main barn. So we'll head over to the coveralls now. I know with all this snow and slippery conditions out here, Arnie's gonna probably be putting the chains on the tractor. So he'll show you how he does that today. He's finished in here too. This is the other breeding groups. What's that one got on its head? What do you got on your head? You look like a bit of a snow cone. With snow, corn. First timers this year. They're in with cash. Except for Thelma and Louise's mom. She's not a first timer, obviously. I just gotta fill up some salt and minerals, so I thought you could watch these girls eating. The black ones actually show up better on the camera. The white ones actually show up better on the camera.
coverall, which is always very exciting because we always have a happy face to greet us here. Hi, are you happy? Are you the happy face around here? Look at you, look at you. You're a silly boy. Oh my goodness, Alexander. How you doing? Oh, you're so nice. You're so nice. You're so happy. Oh my goodness, what a roll. That deserves some food. It does. You can't feed these cats in any of the houses or barns. Anything but Whiskas. We've tried every brand and Whiskas is definitely cat approved. They love the Whiskas for some reason. We should definitely be sponsored by them. You like Whiskas. <laughs> right on top of the bale. This is this this is the pup, this is the guy that's putting all the holes in the plastic. And there is the marks right there. And if you look real carefully, a raccoon has a heel at the back. And it's a bigger paw than a cat. It's pretty hard to tell, but you can I can see it in there. But you and can really tell on this bale. He's got a trail going all the way along here. Right here. There's a the claw mark. See the little claw marks? Little fingers? And he's, and he's running his path every night. And then he was on the bale last night because he had to get over the pile. And you can see, see the little heel mark at the back? I thought it was cats. But it's actually a raccoon. And that's what's causing the bales. It, it doesn't take much. It's literally, literally a tiny pinprick. But you, you think now that you've opened that pathway, they won't climb the bales? No, he might, he might just use the path now. Yeah. And he might help me out a little bit. I'll go show him where he was, Listen, he was walking. Yeah, I'll show you where he's walking. So, so he, he's, see where you're standing? That's his path. See all the footprints? Yeah. So he's went back and forth with probably, uh, probably babies, see? And he's right here. And, and there he is. And he's not interested in this pile climbing. He's interested in the pile where the tree is. And then he, I had the bale right here last night. And the bale was right here. And he went over top of the bale. And I think he used to get into that shed over there. But I shut the door. So I think I should have shut the door earlier. I think the door was an indicator he wanted to get in there. Well, here he is. Okay, let's see right there. Now, yeah, the, see now it's debatable. Because I'm telling you what happened here last night. So he's walking. I don't see his track here, so I don't know where he went. I, I, I wonder if he goes in this old shed here. Well, there's tracks again. All over here, but these are cat tracks here. Well, there's a lot of them here. These look like kitten tracks. Where they've all been playing up here. Yeah, they're kittens. Yeah, see no heel. Yeah. See no heel mark, eh? Oh, they've been up there. Yeah. Oh, there's a kitten right there. A black one just not that hole. Right here he is. I don't know where he is. Well, he. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, I missed him, Arnie. <laughs> so he, is there more in there? Check in there. But yeah, this. I imagine this is a nice spot for something to hide and stay yeah. warm out of the weather. So these marks here are all kittens. But before to get to this, they kind of had to climb over the bale, so we're hoping that now, yeah, there's kitten, kitten marks around the shed for sure. There's no bad spot in this Right now, if the raccoon puts holes in the bales, the bales are cured. The hole won't mean a lot right now. It won't spoil the hay. Hopefully. You just can't have holes in the first month of the mixing that hay. But that bale's perfect, see? Yep. But 
Ben was holding back there because Max got yelled at for walking in the footprints that Arnie was trying to show. And Ben never likes to get in trouble. So if Max is getting in trouble, Ben will stay back. Again, like I've said before, so that he will be labeled as the good dog. It's very important to Ben that he's the good dog. Hi, Benny. Hi, you are the good dog. Are you a good dog? Yeah. Aren't you some handsome girls? There's our raven. Pigeons on one silo and the ravens on the other. That's a good, fast chewing of the cud. A marker of a good sheep. <laughs> Don't be nervous, I'm just sitting down. That's all the coveralls fed for this morning. Arnie will come out again and feed them before he locks them up for the night. It's kind of like the final check.
Well, it's late. You can see it's getting dark. And this is uh, this is my loader tractor, basically. Okay, so this tractor here, there was a bad mistake made in this tractor, and I should be flipping it. But I'm just trying to tell you what I did. I just I just put these chains on. So this is what we use out there. It's going to be turn out to be snow and ice. And uh, that chain right there is going to be like a miracle to me to get through that. So I just I just installed that chain. It took me about a uh, half an hour to get that wheel on good and tight. The whole secret with chains are to get them on real tight, that they don't move around, they don't hit the fenders. So I'll just tell you why we use chains. Uh, when we uh, purchased this tractor, when I was a young lad, so it shows you how old that girl is. It's actually, it's a little muddy right now. Gotta clean it up. It's a fantastic little tractor. Uh, but this tractor, that bucket is extremely heavy on that tractor. It's quite a heavy loader. Probably a little heavier than most loaders. Not today, but at the time it was a very heavy loader. That loader is made for a four wheel drive tractor. So you see the big cavity, uh, the big cavity right in here? That's made for a four-wheel drive. Anybody wants to buy a tractor, you got a heavy front-end loader like that that can pick up a thousand-pound bale with icy conditions, slippery, you're gonna get stuck. You have to have a four-wheel drive. It's, it's not that you have to have it. It's just a miracle thing. Uh, so my father was dead against it. He grew up in the days when I uh, didn't know what four-wheel drives were. Uh, I was pleading with him really badly. Uh, but, yeah, he was the boss. He had the money. And he was not going to do it. Uh, that track is, for that reason, that front-wheel drive has been my nightmare for years. Uh, so... I was going to flip the tractor to get a four-wheel drive. The same make and model tractor. There was one in the yard. They wanted me to flip it. They wanted $15,000 to flip it. It was a four-wheel drive with a loader and everything on it. Same as this tractor. But uh, my mechanic at the dealership was a pretty good friend of mine, um, of me. And he took me aside. And he said, before you do that, Ernie, put on a pair of $800 chains. $400 for each wheel and try that first well that's a real good bandage because uh, that's a cheap fix to get to move that loader uh, that uh, chains will basically never get stuck it's vicious on the ice it does a fantastic job and I got around from trading the tractor uh, and, and getting a four-wheel drive which I wish I had um, four-wheel drives still spin but they won't spin as much but if you notice this, uh, it's a little muddy, I know, I just, I'm a little muddy right now. This tractor, if you notice, has chains on it, but it actually has uh, all teeth on the chains. It's actually, uh, it's actually um, an upper end chain, because uh, it's got the claws on it, the little claws. Most, most chains are just chains, but this one has the claws on it. The claws are half wore off. Could we load a lot of manure in the winter time on the frozen conditions and we're going to get stuck so the chains are really doing their job but that's a quick little story on those chains we're just installing them right now it's not freezing out tonight but it's going to snow they say tonight and it's going to snow in the morning and i'm thinking we're into the first week of december uh, if it snows there's a good possibility it's not going to leave anymore uh, so be, better be prepared. So we're getting them on today. I got one on and I'm going to install the other one um, in a, probably tomorrow or the next day. Uh, maybe I'll put, I'll put a video on how I install them. They're a little tricky to get on, but there's an easy way to get them on. Uh, if I have time and think about it, I'll show you how I did it. And that's the story of my not four-wheel drive tractor, but pretty close to it. Probably call it a cousin. And so that's it for another day at Utopia Farms. Hope you enjoyed yourself and maybe learned a little bit along the way. So until tomorrow, bye for now. Oh, and it's not Christmas yet. If you want to get a few little stocking stuffers like a sheep ornament 
or stickers, bumper sticker, anything small like that, or, or the other stuff. Um, the merchandise shop is open still, and we really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.